I call Potter Williams. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Chairman, on the first of uh, what I hope to be many calls on this bill, I want to just perhaps um, just flag for uh, me and for my electorate what the key issues are. And of course, um, the Christchurch East electorate holds the bulk of the residential red zone, which is a really significant. Uh, matter to be dealt with, and also the uh, suburb of New Brighton um, that we've spoken about uh, quite a bit in this House in relation to um, uh, the rebuild of Canterbury and Christchurch. This bill, um, Mr. Mr Chairman, actually provides the mechanism for those key players to actually uh, find a way um, to engage uh, the community, those people who have been displaced from their homes and their, their, uh, their usual way of living prior to the quakes, back into the conversation about their vision for the city and for the wider region. And, you know, it, it ensures that uh, Christchurch City Council, Waimakariri uh, District, Selwyn, um, the Regional Council and Naitahu have a significant role in s establishing the direction for um, our city going forward. And what I, um, what I appreciate has happened in the process that has led us to the redevelopment of this particular bill um, and I want to thank the Minister for, the, um, for taking the this, this step of allowing the workshopping process to occur, because it is a significant piece of, of work for our city and our region, and the complexity of it uh, could not be underestimated. And I um, thank the officials for the work that they uh, have done on, that, on this, and the members of the opposition who actually took the view that they wanted to get the best bill, the best piece of legislation for our region. And I think that um, though we would not completely concur with everything. I think we've come to a place where the, the Minister can um, be assured he has broad agreement across the House for many aspects of this bill. I am concerned uh, uh, that when we come to deal with the matter of the residential red zone and what will happen with that significant those significant pieces of land, particularly as they are around the um, Avon River through the uh, Christchurch East electorate, where many, many people had their homes, where families had, had been for some time, there is a lot of emotional uh, content still attached to those pieces, those parcels of land. And when I drive through the area, uh, particularly through New Brighton Road, which is um, uh, still quite uh, um, damaged, I uh, have to say. There is no doubt that uh, people who lived there loved their community. They planted trees and gardens, which are still evident today, and there is still a, a lot of local buy-in for the, for the particular area. There are groups of community members who uh, keep, the, keep the lawns mowed, uh, actually walk their dogs, and actually keep the area active and keep people within the area. So when we come to look at the redevelopment of the residential red zone, I urge the, the government and I urge uh, the members of this House to fully consider those people who have had to leave their land and uh, the, this area behind, because they have a vested interest. I'm, I'm pleased that the bill actually provides an opportunity for those people to contribute to the discussion about what will happen in that area, around the design, uh, around what types of things might go into the area, what kinds of developments will happen, because there's no doubt that something will happen with the area. Whether it's, um, as many of uh, my constituents would like, it becomes uh, much more recreational than it was in the past, that would be great, but I know that there are other uh, options and opportunities um, and I urge that, uh, that, our cons that our people actually have the opportunity to engage fully in that process. And I think this bill actually provides a much stronger mechanism for that than uh, the previous iteration. Uh, so too with what happens with New Brighton. And I know that there have been many plans, uh, many master plans for New Brighton, but the community is well versed and well engaged in the discussion and what they would like to see. And uh, it is um, my desire that, uh, that the, the community 
has, a, has an opportunity to be fully engaged in that discussion, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Yeah. Chairman, Porto, thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Because some of the consultation that has happened up to date, up to, to this point, uh, in um, some aspects of the rebuild of the city, <coughs> uh, haven't been uh, as robust as they, they can be. And um, while I um, do actually really like the Margaret Mahi playground, I use this as an example where perhaps the process of consultation could have been far more robust. And in, what I say in that is in relation to access for people with disabilities. Um, when you go to the playground, there are, there are um, what people in wheelchairs called islands of bark around uh, particular pieces of play equipment that are completely inaccessible for people in wheelchairs. They cannot ride over these areas. Um, there are also, um, uh, I, I'm told by people in the disability sector, that they, they were not consulted at the design phase of the Margaret Mahi playground. Now that's completely, um, uh, that sits outside actually our obligations for access, you know, the accessibility issues for our city. And I know that that won't happen in the, in the future. I have, um, I have uh, confidence that this process will allow those groups to actually have, uh, be fully participant in, um, in the discussions about what the uh, regeneration of their city will look like. So to the bus exchange. Uh, the bus exchange does not have uh, toilet facilities for people with disabilities within it. And that is, again, because uh, those groups with um, uh, the role to advocate for people with disabilities were not part of the design phase of that particular bus bus exchange, and that's completely inappropriate. So um, just on those notes, Mr Chairman, I will come back to some other issues within the bill, but I would urge that uh, when we are setting up the mechanism with which to uh, ensure that uh, the community is engaged in this discussion, that those elements are considered. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Mr. Chair. Paul Eugenie,